You see on self-isolation during the coronavirus pandemic can be real stressful for a lot of people. That's right. Now there's growing concern for domestic violence victims who may be actually stuck inside a home with their abuser. Channel 2's Robert Arnold continues our live team coverage tonight with a closer look at that. Robert, good evening. Police, prosecutors, and victim advocates all say domestic violence victims are in a particularly vulnerable state right now because so many are trapped with their abusers due to stay-at-home orders. We're concerned that people will not be able to access the phones uh, to call us. Emily Whitehurst is the CEO of the Houston Area Women's Center. We're concerned that people, uh, when they normally are able to go out and be seen and access their social networks for support, won't be able to do so. Whitehurst says even if a person is trapped with their abuser, there are some measures that can be taken. Keep your phone charged so that if you get a chance to call for help, you can. Make sure you have all vital documents together so you can leave quickly. Keep track of where your abuser keeps weapons. If things do escalate, get to a room with an easy exit. And give your kids a code word that when you use that word, they know to dial 911. So that pressure cooker kind of situation is what we're seeing a whole lot more of. Montgomery County Prosecutor Echo Hudson is talking about cases where the stress of isolation, unemployment, and illness is leading to violence. Hudson says the office has actually seen a 35% increase in domestic violence cases over this time last year, both so-called pressure cooker cases and those with a history of violence. The dramatic increase has been um, very scary. Whitehurst says rising unemployment can further trap a victim who is financially dependent on their attacker. Nonetheless, she says help is always available, even with the pandemic, keeping many people behind closed doors. And that's what we worry about, that this isolation can escalate and compound the violence. Fort Bend County prosecutors say they have seen a 25% increase in these cases from this time last month and a 50% increase from this time last year. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says his department's also seen an increase in these calls. However, HPD has yet to release any official numbers. Officials with the Harris County DA's office say they have not seen an increase overall. Galveston prosecutors say their numbers remain consistent with the same numbers this time last year. And officials with the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services say there's actually been a slight decrease in the number of calls to the statewide abuse hotline. However, in these cases, the concern is with so many domestic violence victims being trapped with their accusers, they can't call for help and they are not leaving the house. Therefore, there are not all these extra eyes on a person who can in turn make that call for help on their behalf. Reporting live from downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Robert. That's an